Hi everybody, it is Makeup Monday and I get to introduce a brand new product. Some of you might have saw some clip art for this already, but you haven't seen the physical product yet. And this is our new liquid liner. Um, I have a little bit of a cold today, so I sound a little nasally. I have no idea what is blooming out there, but something is driving me nuts. Um, but this is our new liquid liner. Now, either you love liquid liner or you've, you're a disaster with it. But there's a big demand for liquid liner. We, you know, I always have people asking me, do you have liquid liner? Do you have liquid liner? So let's show you a few little tricks of how you can use liquid liner. First of all, to demo on other people, this is going to be really hard to demo and clean off and make hygienic. And about the only thing you're going to be able to do is I'm probably going to just swipe it on their hand because most people, either they know how to use a liquid liner or they don't. Um, and I don't know that I'll get into the actual teaching. I'll probably show on myself, but I will swatch it on the back of my hand because as you can see, this is completely waterproof, smudge proof. For those of you that really struggle with products running on your eyes, this is not going to run anywhere. It's going to stay right where you put it. It is ink black, very bold, very dramatic. Um, so as far as demoing on other people, I really, I tried swatching it on here and then using an angled brush to transfer it, but um, it came out a little lighter, which for some of you, that might be good. So if you aren't comfortable using from the well, it is very fine. You can get a really skinny line or you can build it and get it a little thicker. Um, but if you don't want it that bold, I would suggest either you swipe it off on a spatula or you um, just take a really good angled brush, you know, a real skinny little brush and pick some product out and you do it that way. That that might be a, more, a better introduction for some of you on how to, to get it without making it um, be so harsh and so dark. And so just try swatching it on a little angled brush and then pushing that into your lashes the way we've talked about with powders. So as far as getting it on yourself and how you're going to use this product, first of all, I would take either a liner. And number one with liquid liner is I am going to tight line because if you get jumpy and your line isn't straight, this helps camouflage some of the little spaces between your lashes. Um, Let's see if I can do this side without my mirror. And you remember tight lining is just right below the lashes. So much easier to look into a mirror than this camera. Let's see. I've got a mirror right here. All right. So already that, um, when I do it in the camera, I can't, I'm doing it backwards and it's very awkward for some reason. Um, but right there, that gives my lashes more of a lush, um, thick look. So when I do the liquid liner, if I have any little spaces, then it's going to help camouflage that. Now, um, a little trick that I've learned is because you can do the liquid liner and just rim your eye, or of course you can do a beautiful cat eye with it. And so remember the way I do my cat eyes, I'm going to take either a pencil or a dark shadow, one or the other, and you're going to come in, like, follow the curve of your bottom lash, find that little crook, and just do a little angle. And that is Diane's natural cat eye. So we're going to come in, find that little crook. It's like you're following your lashes. Because if I do the liner first, because I've played with it all weekend long, I tend to do it and turn it down, and my line ends up going not up. And especially at my age, we want everything going up. So I'm going to come, follow my lashes, find that crook, and kind of do that. So that's kind of what I'm going to trace over when I do my liquid pencil. And you don't have to do as, as thick as I just did, and it's just kind of habit that I did that. But um, already that's really pretty. And then, this is the fun part. So you're going to want to knock off some of the product in the top of the well right there. And I'm going to have to do a mirror for this. And because I've already got that right there, I'm going to just real, I'm not even going to go all the way over. And you got to just go. You can't like, oh my God, oh my God. You just got to go like I just did. So come over here and just go. 
All right, so now they're connected, but now to make that wing more of a wing, I'm gonna come back. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna use that as my guide. So it's already in the perfect place. And then you start coming backwards and you thicken that up on the outer corner and you just go backwards. And see, I just kind of let the, um, let it kind of flick away right there for a minute, but that's okay, because I'm gonna keep building it up. I like, I want it a little thick, but because my eyes are more hooded these days, I can't do a crazy heavy, heavy liquid winged eyeliner because, you know, the product ends up getting all in there before it dries. Give it just a second to dry, and once it dry, it is not moving until you wash your face that night. Um, so I'm gonna come again, come from the back, and thicken that corner to make it meet where I've started that line. And it's really that simple. Like you just, you know, I kind of cheated with my lead pencil or whatever that thing is first. Um, and then I'm gonna use this to go over it, to thicken it and to get it exactly where I want. And I find that coming backwards is a little better. Now see, I just got a booby right there. Um, I can't talk and do liquid liner at the same time, obviously. But you gotta remove that while it's wet. Um, or you might can flake it off with a Q-tip after it's good and dry. And that's really it. Now, as far as using it on the bottom, I'm not gonna use it down there because I don't generally line under my eyes with pencil. You know, we've talked about this before. I usually, I normally do powder products under my eyes. I want that smoky and um, you know, you can get as thick as you want with that um, and make it really super sultry and dramatic. Something else you can do is put a piece of tape right there um, to give you that, you know, perfect line. And then you can come back with concealer and really clean that up if you feel like it's not exactly where you want it. But you see, I got that on in like two seconds. Now, this isn't a YouTuber's crazy, like, oh my God, cat eye. But it's something that I'm comfortable wearing at 53. I think it's pretty, it's fun. Is it my everyday um, go-to look? Probably not, but it's fun on the weekends. It's fun when I wanna get a little bit more dressed up. And I'm gonna come in here and darken that little side corner right there. And remember, I always start at the outer corner and come in, and that's dry already. Um, because if you start on the inner corner, that's where you drop all the products first. Um, and I am going to come in with that dark uh, Sub-Zero from the Winter Nights palette and just darken that just right in there, just a little bit. Since I have such a heavy eyeliner, I might as well darken that up just a little. And if you want to soften that, if you feel like it's a little too much for you, then come back with your powder and just go over it and, you know, try to smudge it before it's totally set. I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, this isn't perfectly straight, but unless I do that and somebody's really up in my face, nobody's gonna know but me. And so don't stress about it, don't overcomplicate it. Um, and then of course, you know, you need mascara with a wing line. And I've got on I think one or two coats, and I'm just gonna pop on just a little bit more to freshen it up. But that's really it. I find that everybody overanalyzes it. So draw a little corner, and you do not have to go as far as I do. Just go just a little bit, and then connect it and go backwards that way. Um, and that's the easiest way I have found to get liquid liner on somewhat straight. And again, if it's not super straight, don't stress out about it. Um, you can come back after it's getting dry with a, you know, a black um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyeliner powder, eyeshadow, whatever, or something dark like what's in the winter nights. And you can get down in those lashes and really, um, see if you can see it better. It'll let me zoom in here. So see, it's really pretty straight for um, watching you guys, but you can see that it's not perfect right there. Now I've kind of smudged it with a little bit of powder. Um, 
trying to make it not so harsh so I don't look quite so harsh all day long today. But I don't do it underneath again. Um, I just like a little bit of eyeshadow down there. It's a lot less heavy and aging to me. To me, dark eyeliner under the eyes is very aging and it's very dated also. And so this way, it keeps it a little fresh. I know really a great cat eye would be nothing on the bottom. Um, very natural eyes and maybe a bright red lip. And that's just not what I'm comfortable with. So for me, I'm still going to smoke out my eyes a little bit. And I'm always going to do somewhat of a, a nudish pink or a nudish brown lip. That's kind of my go-to everyday lip. So, but I just wanted you to see how easy this really is. So, and if you do a lot of powdered liner, <coughs> excuse me, powdered liner shadow first, just know that this is going to get after a while, a little gunky because it's going to pick up product. And so as long as you're okay with that, then do that. But, you know, I, I kind of just... <coughs> so do not do liquid eyeliner when you're about to sneeze. <laughs> Rule number, like, one. Um, but I just kind of get the tips of my eyes real fast. And then I'm going to come back and just connect that little corner right there. And I got my corner a little thicker than I would on a daily basis. That might be more of a nighttime thing for me. And that one's not as sharp as I wanted. But for daytime, I kind of want it a little more messy and a little more relaxed looking and not quite so um, not quite so harsh. So if any of you guys have any questions about our new awesome liquid eyeliner, I'm so excited that we can compete in that market now because I get asked for it all the time. So it's really exciting that we now have that to offer. Um, it may not be everybody's go-to product, but if you struggle with your eyeliner smudging and coming off, this doesn't budge. It doesn't move. Um, it just takes a little bit of practice and it just takes a little bit of, you know what? Confidence. Don't sit there like, okay, and really overanalyze it. And if you get in there and you feel like it's a little jumpy and there's some spaces, first of all, the tight lining is going to help eliminate the gaps between the lashes. So if this isn't perfectly straight, it's not going to be as noticeable. Um, and then second, you know, you can all, you come backwards and that kind of fills in any little spaces that you might have missed. So you guys all get your liquid liner. Um, get out there and play with this and let me know what you're, you know, if you love it, if you're struggling with it, if you have any questions, if you have any tips on great ways to apply liquid liner. And one thing to notice is how long this applicator is because it gives you a steadier hand to just be able to go instead of being all up in there. Um, so you want to come out further on the wand and just go and then come back to straighten it up and to thicken it up and to get it where you want it. But it's very pretty. It's very sultry. It's very sexy and dramatic. Um, for those of you that don't like an, a lot of eyeshadow, it's so pretty by itself. Um, you know, I'm an eyeshadow junkie, so I try to just like not have any shadow all weekend and just liquid liner. And I would gradually come back in and put a little more on. But, you know, that's just me. So you guys have a great week. Um... Happy Makeup Monday, and let me know if you have any questions or concerns or comments about liquid liner. Thanks, everybody. It's live. You can get it now. Bye.